Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to SirenNet Television. Today we have a special presentation for you. I am joined by Mr. Ken Walters. How you doing? Ken, good to nice. see you. Good Thanks to see you as always. In. He has a great new product from Code 3 and it is the Z3 Matrix. So what is this new system going to allow your products to do when it comes to vehicle integration? In short, it's gonna allow us to configure everything from the computer. I don't have to do programming at every individual light head and then wiring them together with the sync wire and all those other things that all you people already know what that means. I can do it all centrally right here, program it, and be done with the car. Any changes that I ever want to make, again, doesn't have to be done through the wiring process. It can be done simply by man manipulating the program, okay. making a change and pushing it to the system and it's done. So essentially, when we have the configuration up here, that's gonna take, like you said, all the products that have been installed on here. So it takes the lights, be it single colors, multi colors, lets them run through the system. So steady burn, but it can also bring further enhancement and life into them. So if we're looking at say like the M180s, they have a warning mode, they have a scene light mode, but this can make them have even more functionality to it with flashing and warning enhancements. Correct. So yeah. I love that. But I like to see how this can go beyond with the OBD2 integration on the vehicle. So grabbing what the car is doing and having it also tell all these products what to do with those changes. Yeah, it's a very nice thing to be able to do again. So if I'm gonna have my, just my left puddle light come on with, when the door is open, I don't have to go in there and try and wire to that door. I simply come over here to the OBD2, I select it and I tell it what I want it to do when that driver's door is opened or whatever uh, feature there is that you're programming. So how it's set up on here, again, the control head example, progressive slide switch, button indicators for siren tones, lighting activation, and traffic advising. But Ken, I love how you were mentioning to me that you don't have to use the buttons in a standard configuration. Exactly. The beautiful aspect of Matrix, yeah. going into this and reading all about it, we can make the buttons do what we want the buttons to. Again, granted, there's on and off, there's momentary aspects to them, but really, Okay, so we don't want the TA, the car doesn't have an equipment for it. Rather than these buttons being lost, they can now carry over into scene lighting like you've gotten programmed in here. Yeah. So looking in the Durango that you have here for your demonstration vehicle, tucked away inside the storage compartment in the center, that is the amplifier, or the where, brains for the system, where the magic right? happens. All right. <laughs> so why don't we do this? Do you mind cruising around I'll that close side, this so you get, can get a, good a good view, look at it. and then we'll give you guys a great look at everything here and how you're going to do the connectivity. Yeah, the great thing about the configuration of, of the Z3 matrix is for it's a very installer friendly in that everything is done on the one side, so they don't have to leave it exposed in, in, in different areas. Your power wires and your output wires and your input wires, um, computer hookup, your OBD2 connectivity, and your speaker outputs are all on one side. It's very nice as far as that goes. And uh, in that uh, very rare case where something might go wrong, the nice thing is all of my fuses are right here on the top with an LED indicator. And what the LED indicator just allows me to do, if there is a fault in a fuse, that indicator light will illuminate red and they'll know, hey, we got a bad fuse. They don't really have to take out every fuse and inspect the fuse. It does it for you. So this is where you would do everything. It's where the magic would happen. Your light bar connects up through a Cat5 cable and then you're just running power and ground to a light bar. You have 10 configurable outputs as far as the flash patterns. You have two 20 amp outputs, you have eight 10 amp outputs, and you can wire um, extra lighting to that. And then looking okay. over to the side, what you have coiled up there and plugged in that I'm curious about is it's got a little indicator beeping. That is the OBD2 aspect of the matrix system. Correct, so OBD2 just looks like that. When it's functioning, you see that uh, flashing light on the one end that it is plugged in and operating on this car. Very nice. We've seen the configuration and the Z3 matrix itself in the Durango. Ken, let's take a look at how this actually brings life into the products. Great, we'll go through the operations of how I have my vehicle programmed. So as you would imagine, level one is the rear of the vehicle. Level two is gonna add the front of the vehicle plus some red and blue up front. And typically level three is always going to be full on red, blue, or whites. However, you can mix in whites in your particular state in Oregon. They have free reign, California, they can only add a couple and so on and so forth. It would also generally add in a siren tone. I don't have mine 
linked to that as of now so I don't drive everybody crazy when I'm doing a demo. When I turn this off and I go up into my buttons here, I can do like a left scene. So if you see the left end of my bar will come on, my under mirror light will come on and uh, illuminate that. So it gives officers great safety when you illuminate what I have on here because they can see not only to the left, but to the left front, to the left rear, and so on and so forth. I won't cover what the uh, right uh, alley light is. Turn that off, front scene. I just programmed the entire bar. So that is everything in the front of the vehicle, including the whites on the grill. Again, officer safety is paramount. So when they pull up behind a uh, felony stop or something like that, they can throw a ton of light onto the front of the, uh, to the rear of a vehicle that they've pulled over. Cruise lights, so this uh, can be used in a lot of different situations. I have two levels of cruise lights. It's the top bar along with the vehicle lighting. I also have a level two cruise lights, which takes out the top bar. Okay. The nice thing is it's a little more incognito, I guess. Unfortunately, it's daylight hours right now, so you can't see here, but on one button, I have my puddle lights connected in, which gives the officer about a five and a half foot semicircle mm -hmm. uh, to the left and to the right of the vehicle. The neat thing is here is when the bar's in full operation mode, I've also programmed a timed output. So that end of the bar kills for eight seconds to help preserve the officer's eyesight at night. Interacting with the OBD2, we get the charm of brake light booster. Ken, if you would be so kind. So what is the benefit of that in this vehicle? Well, just for extra visibility for oncoming traffic. So if the department would like to have extra brake lights at the top of the car, that's an easy thing, easy thing to do right through the OBD2. Okay, so we're not actually taking wiring from the light bar, that's grabbing it from the OBD2. Absolutely. Fantastic. What about turn signals? Same thing. So I, you can program this how you would like. I have mine programmed so it's just a single light head flashing on the left and on the right of the bar. But they could have a left traffic director sweep, a right traffic director sweep, okay. however they want to configure it. Let's take a look at how this works when the vehicle's into reverse. So on my particular bar, it was ordered as a red, blue, amber bar. It should mm -hmm. be red, white, amber, blue, white, amber but you can get the idea of how that would work. Definitely, we're good at envisioning different colors. <laughs> the department can configure that how they want. So if the officer would like additional scene lights uh, safety in reverse, mm -hmm. they can program the entire back of the bar, a couple of heads back there, or whatever it is they would like. So again, that's the configuration and that flexibility of selection. Yep. You can have the corners, you can have a set of inboards. So thinking of this in fire and rescue, a neat way to be able to illuminate the rear brush truck bed, Absolutely. Uh, command workings, anything there. So that's really neat. And again, if it wasn't on the reverse, you could take it and put it on its own button and you can actually do both, right? Correct. Okay. And then with the bar, do you mind just giving me one more look since we have the back view and how you've set it up between one, two, and three as far as warning positions? Absolutely. So in level one, it's a slow side to side type of pattern. And it's only the rear of the bar, no side lighting or front lighting. Level two adds a faster motion and it adds in front red and blue. And again, in level three, it goes to full-on craziness. So even faster motion adds a lot more white, and it adds white to the front and to the sides of the vehicle as well. How about traffic advisor? How does that work when the bar is on and flashing? Yeah, okay. So I have left on right now, and it takes that and overrides that, so you have your flash arrow stick. Okay. And again, with that in the pan setting there, if you wanted, you could turn that into a traffic advisor with your turn signal if such a Absolutely. scenario arose. Yes. All right. So that's neat. Again, you can have such a simple turn signal. You can have the biggest customized sequential turn signal. Again, I really like that. So that is one of the things that you have the ability to select from in how you're going to design your vehicle and interact it with all the Code 3 accessories. Well, Chris, Stuart, team from Sirenet, thank you for allowing us the opportunity to come by and show you what the matrix system is, what it can do, and how it integrates into the vehicle. I really, really appreciate it. Can't, we can't thank you enough for coming by today. Thank you so much for helping us put this great presentation My together. My pleasure. 
thank you all for watching and joining us yet again on Siren Net Television. So you can stay up to date, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Chris, we'll see you next time.